in this video we are going to introduce Fourier transforms. So in the last classes we discussed Fourier series. So there we are going to represent any periodic signal in frequency domain that means in uh, by using another signal we are just approximating that is called as Fourier series representation of the signal. So here coming to Fourier transform. So this is also similar to Fourier series but we are using for a periodic signals. So both Fourier series and transform are the mathematical tools to represent any signal in frequency domain. But the only difference is Fourier series is mainly used for periodic signals that means to represent the signals in frequency domain the periodic signal for the periodic signals will go for Fourier series. If we are having any aperiodic signals if you want frequency domain representation then we will go for Fourier transform. So here mainly Fourier transform intention is to represent any signal time domain signal into frequency domain. Coming to conditions for existence of Fourier transform, these conditions are very important for any descriptive or conventional type exams. So these are also called as bridgelet conditions when we are discussing Fourier series also I discussed this bridgelet conditions separately. So same uh, conditions that a signal need to follow for the existence of Fourier uh, transform. For example, any signal f of t that need to satisfy or uh, need to represent in Fourier transform or need to convert into frequency domain by using Fourier transform that need to satisfy all these three conditions which are al also called as Dirichlet conditions. So the first condition is if you want to transform f of t that f of t should be absolutely integrable. That means whatever area or whatever value you are taking in integration that means integral minus infinity to infinity modulus of f of t dt value must be less than infinity. That means you need to get any finite value not at all infinity. So if you got infinity then you can't represent Fourier transform for that signal f of t. This is first important condition bridgelet condition to exist Fourier transform. So if any signal f of t should be absolutely integrable whenever integration minus infinity to infinity f of t dt should be less than infinity. Second Richlet condition is the function must have finite number of maxima and minima. Maxima and minima means the peak value and low value of the signal, the highest and lowest values of the signal. If your signal is fluctuating continuously for a maximum and minimum, different maximum and minimum, then it won't seem like a signal, it will just seems like a noise. So your signal must need finite number of maxima and minima. Why? Because if you are having any signal like this, so if, if you see the maxima are equal, and minima is equivalent to 0 that means the lowest amplitude uh, so this is the lowest amplitude that may be some minus value and maximum is we are having this is maximum value and this is minimum amplitude. So this is a general signal it seems like a perfect signal. For example in any case the one of the minima is like this and another minima is like this only then it is also okay. But you if you are having infinite number of maximas and minimas so one time signal minima will shows minus 3 one time it will shows minus 1 and maxima it shows 1 3 like that the signal won't get a proper shape then you can't give proper definition for that signal. If you are not able to give proper definition for this for any signal how you can uh, use Fourier transform equations, how you can represent Fourier transform. So that is why your signal to represent in Fourier transform or transform into frequency domain by using Fourier transform. So the uh, function must have finite number of maxima and minima. Definitely we require maxima and minima. Without maxima and minima that won't uh, seems like signal. 
or for example even for a DC signal also we are having some maximum value minimum value we are not having so we require maximum minimum but finite number of maximum minimum must be there so like the third condition for existence of Fourier transform is we require we require finite number of discontinuities in the signal in the same way which I explained second point if you are having infinite number of discontinuities infinite number infinite number of cuts in the signal how you can estimate that signal so that's why definitely practically we are having some discontinuities but if you are having infinite number of discontinuities in the signal you can't go for Fourier transform representation so all these three conditions that is signal need to follow to transform from time domain to frequency domain so this is the introduction of Fourier transform Fourier transform is used to convert the time domain signal into frequency domain and it need to follow the signal need to follow all three digit conditions to exist Fourier transform.